Hello, hello. So I am running bungee cord on uh, three different physical computers and I'm going to show you how to set that up because most tutorials that I've seen only show you how to run all the servers on one single physical computer. So I'm running the, everything on different physical computers and right here if I go to into network you see I have three different computers and the center one here is the one that I'm on right now and this one is actually running the bungee cord itself and the other two is running spigot servers because you need to run spigot for this and it's kind of important as well the names of the folders that the servers are on uh, for example right now on one computer I'm running a mining computer so just type it mining and on the other computer that I have um, oops, like this one it's a survival so name them like this mining and survival for example if you're going to have a townie server name it townie so and then you put the server itself into that folder and the spigot server of course you need to run spigot and the files you need to change here are first the server properties and the spigot yml but we start with the server properties here and what you need to change here is first of all the server port uh, I have set up bungee cord the bungee server to 25565 so the spigot servers can't use that port they need to have a different port so I just named the survival server will have this 25566 and my mining server will have 25567 so that's important second important thing is this server IP and if you are running all the servers including bungee cord everything all this minecraft servers on one single physical computer you can set this up with 127.0.0.1 because that let oh, that lets this spigot server only allow connections from in the same the same computer. It doesn't allow any connections from other computers or other servers, so to speak. But this doesn't work if you are running all the spigot servers on different physical computers because. Bungie cord, if Bungie cord try to send you to this server and this speaker saying no, I'm not accepting any connections from other computers. So yeah, it doesn't work. So if you are running all the speaker servers and Bungie cord servers on different physical computers, you can't have the local host IP address here. This needs to be empty. Okay. So that's the second thing beside the port, server IP, leave it empty. You can have a level name world, whatever you want. And another thing you need to change whitelist if you want to have it false or true. If it's a public server, leave it to false. I want to know who I want to control who actually connects to the server. So I have the survival set to whitelisted to true and my mining world is actually set to false. But that's completely up to you. The other thing that you must change is this online mode. It might sound weird, but you're actually running the bungee cord server in online mode. The spigot server should be offline mode because it's actually the bungee cord that is doing the check if you actually have a a true uh, sort of minecraft account 
if you have a cracked uh, server or cracked client you can't connect so it's actually Bungie Core that's doing that check before it sends you to this server so uh, the spigot servers should be in false mode or offline mode because the uh, people that are connecting to the service are actually connecting to the Bungie Core servers they never ever connect directly to the server they always connect to the Bungie Core and then Bungie Core will send you to the correct server so that's why you have this offline so yeah that's what you change here it's the online mode set that to false uh, whitelist mode set it to whatever you want the server IP leave it empty and change the port so remember remember these ports write them down <laughs> and of course you do the same thing on this uh, uh, mining world just change the port you see here is 6 7 leave it empty and it's also uh, whitelisted to false what you need to change next is this spigot YML. And the only thing you need to change here is actually this bungee cord. It says look for it, bungee cord. And the default setting is to set default. But if you're going to run it with bungee cord, you need to set this to uh, true, like I did here. So that's the only change you need to do here. And so, yeah, remember the folder names that you have survival mining and also the port numbers because now you need to actually set up the bungee cord server and I have this on this physical computer here and this is the start script for it it's just pretty simple I started with 512 megs of RAM megabyte not gigabyte megabyte and 512 megabyte will be more more than enough for about five 500 people so yeah just start it with 512 meg that should be more than enough and when you started this up the first time you get this other files here and you should go into the config.yml and in here you should change a couple of things. Uh, the ch things I changed was this under listeners, the query report. Change that from default was uh, 255. Okay. <laughs> 25577 uh, is the default. I changed that to 65. Uh, same thing over here. The host 25565 and then over here you have on the servers I set up the servers and this is kind of important that I do this correctly uh, this names the survival here and the mining they have they are exactly the same names as the shared folders here survival and mining and this is really really important if you actually run them on the same computer to have the, the names on the, the same the folders and survival yeah message of the day welcome to survival server and here comes the address and yeah I have this on a uh, different computer than this I have this and that's why you type the, that IP address to that computer and of course the last you need to uh, type the port number as well and you do the same thing for the mining world here mining you can see that's a different IP address because it's a different computer and of course a different port number but if you're running all of this on the same computer you don't type an IP address you just type local host on both of them so if they are running on the same computer both the bungee cord and the biggest servers if they are running on the same computer just type localhost and then the port number 
and that's why it's important they have different port numbers because otherwise they can't have the same port <laughs> so that's why I do this but I run IP address here 168.1.50 there and change this as well to 13 So, and also restricted here, you set the defaults on both. Because if you don't want people to uh, get uh, to the other server, just set this to true. But I want people to be able to access the mining server as well. And when you have set this up, you need to change the priorities over here. Uh, default, it says lobby. But uh, the default server people should be sent to is the survival world and so when you actually log into the bungee cord bungee cord will send you directly to the survival world but if for some reason the survival world is down it's rebooting or doing some maintenance i the second order is mining so if the survival world is down for some reason you will be automatically sent to the mining world and if you have like a hub or whatever or lobby lobby world you will be sent to that first perhaps maybe you have like a third uh, called lobby a lobby a, th a third server and then from the, lo the lobby you will be sent directly to the world that you want to go to but i only have two servers here and you will be automatically just sent to the survival world directly because the bungee cord server itself doesn't have any worlds or anything it's just the control server so to speak so yeah that's what you set up here you just Change the uh, I changed the group as well. I sent my player name here. And then the servers, of course, survival mining, IP address, and port number, and thirteen, of course. All right, I have it like that. Uh, thirteen. So yeah, and of course, change the query port. And host port and priorities so that's that's how I set it up so yeah I hope it was kind of worthwhile and when you are actually uh, connecting to the server in Minecraft Mod it here for now at least. Uh, okay. Yeah, I get that crash sometimes, it's the gnome shell crashing sometimes. And in Minecraft, here I show you that people should. If you have bungee cord, people should never ever directly connect to the uh, spigot servers. They should always connect to the bungee cord server. So, uh, if I go with like this, yeah, they are not. Uh, so, right now I'm running the bungee cord on this computer, but uh, if you have if it's a friend server, you'd have la -di -da dot com, and if they use the default two five five seven seven port, you need to type that as well here two two five five seven seven. But I actually changed this to six five, so that's why you don't really need the port. Just to address. But for me, I just have the bungee cord, so local host. Otherwise, you type the IP address to that. 
otherwise it's just a regular server so yeah that's kind of it so see you later